Okay, today we get to come back to Catman and see if his girlfriend is able to keep that poor little dog that he got her. And then she realized isn't allowed where they live. So the next chapter, we see a house icon. Hey, come over here. What is it? Oh, wow! What a big house! The other room didn't allow pets, right? And that makes me think, how far away did he take her? Because he just said, hey, come over here. And then all of a sudden, boom, there's a house. What, did he build a house in their backyard and technically they're still on the same lot? And the landlord's going to get after them for that? It doesn't exactly have... A compact plot. So let's live here from now on. Really? Wow! Wow! Let's move in right away. Good news, right, Ralph? <gasps> but how did you get this house? I built it. Well, he'd have still had to purchase the lot. He... Even if he is able to build a house, he still had to purchase a lot to build the house on. Oh, well, this game starts to get more and more nonsense as it goes on. The next chapter's pretty bad. It's funny, but it's getting more eye-rolling, facepalm. You did what now? I built it. You built it? Overnight. I just had to put my mind to it. Wow! Incredible! I'm so lucky to have a whole house built for me. To show you my appreciation, I'll raise your allowance. This is working out well for me. My total allowance is incredibly large. It must be if he can build a house off of his allowance. With all the things I do around here, the positives of taking care of me will never outweigh the negatives. I did work pretty hard this time around. So, apparently working hard at home is not the same as working hard on a job. And he's still not losing. I'm going to really step up my game tomorrow. And... Oh, it's two chapters later that's the really weird one, not the next chapter. And the next chapter... He still does quite a bit, but I don't think it's as much as building an entire house in one night. So I think he dropped his game just a little the next chapter. But still ridiculous. Hey, come over here and bring Rao. Okay. Huh? Was the yard always this well kept? <laughs> there was a little space left. I think that if he made the yard better kept, then that means he created more space. Or at least opened it up. So I made a dog park. <laughs> a dog park? Yes. I thought Rao wouldn't get enough exercise being kept indoors. Just like my grandpa, we took him out for a walk two days ago, but while well, he didn't seem to have a problem, my grandma was afraid he would fall, and he forgot where he was going home to and tried... To go into my parents' house instead of where he lives next door. Eh. Side tangent. Wow, isn't this great, Row? <coughs> oh! <laughs> Looks like he's having fun. Hey, can I talk to you something? Can I talk to you about something. Hmm? What is it? It's just 
You've been so busy lately. Oh, right. There have been so many things I had to do. I do have Rao, but I miss spending time with you. And this is showing how, how the conflict is just digging him deeper and deeper into a pit that he won't resolve until the last chapter. Which is quite simplified compared to some of the things he's done by then. It's true. I've been prioritizing just selling myself. But I can't stop doing that. I have to figure something out. If it comes to it, I'll have to do something drastic. And so, he's working really hard not to work, and that's the entire point of the whole story. So, we've got a little while oh, to go on this story, so that'll be in a few more episodes. So, till then, see ya, chair, stool.